How's it going guys? I'm Satchel Snow and these are geckos. This one on my right hand is a leopard gecko and this guy is a crested gecko. They're both really awesome animals and I'm going to tell you some of the similarities and some of the differences between these guys. So geckos are some of the only lizards that have vocal cords, which is awesome because that means they can make a bunch of different noises from chirping to literally making the sound gecko, gecko, which is where they get their name gecko from. And geckos, unlike a lot of lizards, actually have really fine velvety scales in them, so they're much softer than other lizards that are going to be rough and scaly and kind of not as fun to hold as geckos are. So one of the unique differences these guys have, which is really important to know, is the leopard gecko is in the eyelid gecko family. So he's one of the few gecko species that can actually blink like we can like this. Whereas this guy, the crested gecko, like most other geckos, has a thin scale over his eye. It's translucent and it's called a spectacle. And it's basically a protective layer so that he doesn't need to blink. It keeps his eye moist, but to clean his eye, we can't blink like we can if we get something in our eye. So he has to actually use his tongue like a windshield wiper and lick off any dust or water and they're like, oh, no, no. Another similarity these guys have is that they're both nocturnal, which means they're primarily gonna be active at night. They can also be a little crepuscular, which means active at dusk and dawn, but mainly they're gonna be nocturnal. And like most nocturnal species, these guys have vertical slit pupils, kind of like a cat's eye. And what that pupil does, it allows them to take in much more light than a circular pupil like ours. So they can see much better at night than during the day. And that's another thing that's different. Well, one of the differences I should say between these guys is crested geckos live in the rainforests of New Caledonia, which is an island in the Southwest Pacific. So they are gonna be arboreal, which means living in the trees. So this guy, the crested gecko, will move around like that from tree to tree jumping, cause that's his way of transportation. Whereas this guy, the leopard gecko, lives in the deserts and dry grasslands of Southern Asia. So they don't really have that kind of adaptation. They have clawed feet, so they don't have sticky toes like this guy does in most other geckos. Another difference, but also kind of a similarity, is their diets. So these guys are both insectivorous, which means they love munching on insects. But the crested gecko right here is one of the only geckos that eats fruit and vegetation. So in the wild, they'll go around eating fruit, seeds, stuff like that, maybe even some plant matter. Whereas this guy is going to be only eating kind of crickets, bugs like that. Another difference between these guys is that their tails. The crested gecko has a much skinnier tail and can actually drop it off, but they don't grow back. So if they lose that tail to distract a predator, that's it. They lose that tail, which would really suck because they have a prehensile tail and it has a toe pad, so it helps them climb, kind of like a monkey's tail would. Whereas this one, the leopard gecko, they can drop their tail, but they're much more hesitant to because look at how fat and bulbous this is. That is stored with fat because in the deserts they live in, water is very scarce and food is scarce at times. So they'll use this tail to metabolize fat and when fat is metabolized, it turns into energy and water. So this is like a built-in camel hump on them. So all in all, both beautiful animals and even though they are both geckos, they do share a lot of differences as well as similarities. And if you wanna see individual videos on these guys going a little more in depth, definitely click the card right there in the top of the video, it should be somewhere right there. And if you like this video on their comparison, definitely drop a like, subscribe, if you want to see more stuff like this and until next time thank you guys so much i want to get a little more interactive and fun with you guys in the comments so if you could please comment down below what is the clear scale that goes over a crested gecko's eye called that protects it from dirt and keeps it moist i'd love to hear your guys answers in the comments and test you guys knowledge on today's video so thank you so much again for watching and have a great day or night wherever you are